congratulations or commiserations, whichever way you look at it. Well, it has been congratulations on buying what should be an exciting and interesting DVD on the Collie opening. Now, before you are told, no, the Collie cannot be interesting. Oh, yes, it can. Oh, yes, it can. And I'm going to prove that to you in this DVD. Now, I want to talk to you about some things that this DVD does include, what this DVD is going to be hopefully excellent explaining to you, and also some setups where it may not be the best explaining. Um, I want to be totally honest with you, give you the best chess experience you can. The idea of doing this DVD, um, along with a Tori DVD I did, is to give you a dangerous weapon with white, where you get your opponent into an uncomfortable position he might not be very used to playing, that can also give you excellent attacking chances. And it's attacking chances I'm always trying to find. Now, the Collie is basically an opening system which comes about from the moves d4, knight to f3, and e3. And in my view, the Collie is very effective and most effective against setups with d5 in various forms so for example knight to f3 knight to f6 and now e3 and this dvd is mainly concentrating on this kind of setup against d5 because this is when it's most effective and i'm going to show you some great ways to play in this position and you're going to be covered for everything against d5 moves and what kind of setups are we going to look at against d5 well the original collie opening played by um collie back in the early 1930s was with the setup with c3 knight bd2 bishop d3 so for example c3 and we get this setup here. And White generally played this setup without thinking. And this setup is still popular at amateur level. But my honest opinion after doing a lot of research um, in preparation for this is that this setup doesn't offer White any advantage because your bishop on c1 is, is ridiculous. So before you groan and go, oh my God, why do I buy this DVD? He's just sold me a dud, this bloody snake's oil salesman. Before you do that, I'm going to explain why um, this setup, I, I don't believe, it is the way you should play. And the setup that we are going to be mainly concentrating on is what is now tend to be called uh, the Collie Zuccotort variation. So it's the modern Collie, I'd say, the modern version of the Collie. And the difference with the modern version and this setup is that we don't play the move c3 instead we play the move b3 and our little friend say hello to my little friend on c1 this little friend is very uncomfortable in the other positions where we've got pawns in the way but in this updated version this little guy is a happy happy soldier ah because the setups we are looking at involve this bishop coming to b2 where it has a great future on this diagonal and we're mainly looking at this position because this is what occurs in most games when your opponent plays d5 so you know just from stats we're going to look at all plans and we're going to look at good plans that you should be playing here and in my view white does get an advantage in these setups white can play for an edge white can play for an attack white can have a fun and interesting game so this updated collie, and there was a, I'll just tell you some books which I used which have helped me out. Um, Richard Palliser wrote a book on the collie about 10 years ago, but he didn't really deal with B3 and Bishop B2. And I studied that book. We talk about it a bit. It's a great book, but White can't get an advantage. A book that I found very useful uh, in doing some research and, and a good book was a book by David Rudel, called Zukum, the Kori Zukatov um, revolution. And he's done a couple of copies of this, but he has really gone into depths about this setup. And I've used some of his ideas or some of my own ideas 
in, in the way we're, we're building this DVD. Excellent book, well worth getting. So this is the real strength of, of this Collie opening, learning how to play against D5. Learning a setup which you can pretty much play in nearly every game against D5. A setup where as long as you play these moves, as we just saw, you don't have to think too much in the opening. You can just get set up like this and the rest will be natural. We'll look at the middle game plans and the next bit of this DVD, etc, etc. So it's a very easy way for you to play. You don't have to learn any theory. You don't have to have a good memory. But it's very tricky for black because black will be expecting more main lines where you play c4 because of course the main lines after d4 d5 all involve c4 and as a general rule we are kind of avoiding this until until it makes an effect later on because these are main line queens queens gambit positions and that's not what this dvd is about this dvd is about making your opponent uncomfortable by playing a system he's not expecting but that you're going to be a master at so you're already going to have an advantage over him so the strengths of this DVD, in my opinion, are these lines with D4, D5. But like any opening, there are weaknesses. And I'll be totally honest with you. The one time, in my opinion, when the collie lets white down is against the King's Indian. And even if an early G6. So, for example, if black goes knight F6, we play knight F3. And if he doesn't play d5, but plays g6, in my personal opinion, the collie set up with e3 is not going to give you an advantage. It's not the most demanding setup on the position. It's not going to give you an advantage. And it wouldn't be my recommended way of playing. Um, now, again, after I tell you the, the, in the next short clip the basic plans in, in the things that we really do go into and things to look out for, things not look out for, an overview of the concepts you need to know, I'm going to do a video that will explain when the, corry, the collie with the bishop on c1 is working and when the tory with bishop g5 is working. Because this DVD and the other DVD I did can work extremely well together as a, as a pair. And that's not just to sell you the pair. It's actually to give you the best overview chance of getting an advantage with white, avoiding the main lines that you can get. And there's not so much to learn. I know the DVDs are quite long, but you know once you've learned them, the theory is not going to progress like other openings at an astounding rate. It's going to stay the same for a long time. It's the ideas that are more important. So in my view, against g6, without d5, e3 cannot be the best move. But we do I do give you some very brief, and it's very brief, ways you can play this position later on. But this is not really what this DVD is going to fully cover because I can't back it with my, with my honest opinion that as white you're going to get an advantage. Now, a while, a while ago, the refutation of e3 here was considered to be g6 a mix between the king's indian and d5 systems because it was fought the bishop on c1 that is now ridiculous and an idea that i did uh, find in this book zukum based on c4 gives white chances of an edge and it also keeps the position a bit uncomfortable for black and i think c4 here is the way to play. And I know I said we weren't going into C4 openings, but against certain setups, G6 and D5, this is the only way you can try to get an advantage if you want to keep it collie-like. When we have Slav positions with C6, which we have a quick look at, and we have positions with Bishop G7, where we can play the delayed Grunfeld like this, which brings unique positions, interesting positions out of theory. And again, we'll have a quick look at this. But the main reason I did this DVD is to find a good way to play against the most common move, D5, that avoids theory, that gives you attacking chances. And that is what this DVD is mainly concentrating on. And I think it's going to be a great weapon for any of you out there to have a less theoretical but still a very dangerous opening to play against D4, D5. That will take your opponent by surprise. 
So I hope you do enjoy it. Um, you know, I, I really, you know, it's very important. I try to teach and and get you engaged at the same time. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you the important ideas, most important ideas as concepts in the middle game even, what you're aiming to achieve throughout the course of this whole video.